Well, it's 3.44 and I've just put the camera on uh, night scene foliage and I pressed the macro button before I pressed the movie button because um, I'm just going to walk over to the grid site to try and practice uh, what we learnt yesterday which is basically, I think I have to either have the, uh, the mode on macro or, or for extreme close-up with everything in the in the in the distance in somewhat of a semi-focus it's with super macro but not I don't think all the functions allow for the pressing of super macro so I thought I'd better let's see it's a lovely yeah pan and pause pan and pause lovely sunny day at the office today after having a, basically a couple of weeks of rain on and off and uh, yeah you can see we even got moss growing on the road there and I noticed some of the which we should be able to go in and focus on that's got, got a lovely turquoise blue yeah. I don't know if that's picking it up definitely you can't do that with uh, night scene fireworks so uh, that's definitely one function that's going to be out for um, taking semi-close-ups and uh, yeah yeah so for the next uh, month or so we'll have um, the, the, basically the second part of the uh, the wet basically following the wet in a way and people still having their um, their fires going you know, their sp uh, smoky fires and from their roofs and everything like that and um, Oh, I forgot what the other thing is. <laughs> oh, it's totally gone out of my brain. So anyway. Anyway, we're getting, we're getting a new side fence between our neighbour over the next... Uh, at the end of August. So the, the next four weeks I've got to clear the side... Um, the side alley area with all my Saracens. I've got to move those. and So I'm just going to cut it into four sections. Basically do one a week. But this is a lovely time. This is the best time in Southern Australia, really. It's a little bit chilly in the mornings, and you probably have to wear a beanie and maybe some mittens. But this coming week, we'll probably go out to uh, uh, back of the um, back of Kaipo and down to uh, Cox's Scrub for the second go, hopefully. Pan and pause, pan and pause. And uh, let's see, we've got the creek down here. You see the frogs, hear the frogs, sorry. And that's the water coming through up there in the hinterland over there, coming down, and it'll slowly flow, flow through. So it'll keep flowing for the next uh, week or so as it comes through. And it always gets greater later on than you think it is. So you may have an initial over, it's over spill, but uh, it gets larger later on as the water comes through the landscape. Few mitches in the air there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but being on uh, macro, I might just about get it. So uh, you can see the Sourbri Creek is flowing down there. So uh, yeah, but um, Anyway, I think I'll cross over and we'll see if we can see any grid seedlings. You never know, we might be lucky, but I doubt it. Um, the sun is just overpowering. And I might change a setting and see if we can find one that gives us super recro or something and see what happens. Anyway, pan and pause. Pan and pause. Okay, cross over first of all. Yeah. 
Otherwise the clips will get too long and it'll take too long to upload. Let's come into this and we'll get a nice uh, screenshot hopefully. Oh, look at these, look at these, wow. Well, there you go. Now we'll see if uh, the camera can actually, how close we can go in on those, or do I need super macro for those? Well, that one's just coming out there, you can see, coming out on one side. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, pan and pause, pan and pause. And why don't I put it down on the ground and see what effect I can get from the uh, the moss. Put the camera straight down, it's slightly at an angle and then at another angle. So I think and maybe that to do that to the ground as well. Well that's the, the sewer cap thing anyway. So get a good nice screenshot out of that I reckon. And anyway, if I put it straight on the ground you don't get to see anything do you and you get a bit of flareage. So uh, mm. doing it that way. Well, there you go, that should be, be good if we can get a, um, a glid in the, in the side there. But let's try it on uh, down here. How low do we have to go? I reckon it's about there fellas. So that's about two and a half feet up. Pointing slightly down. If I go right down on the ground, that's about half a foot off the ground. And that's about a quarter of a foot with a slight angle. Anyway, that's about it for now. Start a new clip, I think.